Hello, we're going to do another guitar demo today. Uh, if you've seen any more of my demos, you know that I've got quite a few guitars from the 60s. Um, and this is yet another one, and it is another Japanese-made Tesco. Um, this is a very unusual Tesco because of the shape. Let me just demonstrate sort of what I mean. This is one you'll see quite a few of these around and about. Um, the Stratocaster-shaped Tesco. They also made a lot of SG stylings under the K branding. That one was a top 20 uh, branding. Uh, and they even made a Les Paul one, which I've all put, already put up on another video as well, under the K branding. They made a lot under the 335 sort of shape. Columbus and Audition, I think, they branded those ones typically. Uh, so quite a few different stylings. They copied pretty much everything, a Rickenbacker, uh, 360, um, all sorts of stylings on it, but this one's quite unusual because it is, of course, an uh, offset waist, jazz master or jaguar sort of shape guitar, and I've not seen another one of these. They also made a tulip shape, very, very commonly made a tulip shape for K, uh, which are a bit dodgy looking to me, and I, I've not got one of those, but I've seen quite a few, and you can look them up online, you can see quite a few of those tulip-shaped uh, Tesco ones as well. But I think this is a sweet-looking little guitar. Its similarities with a Jaguar or a Jazzmaster end with the vague shaping. Uh, if you look at that bit of wood, which would, I'm sure, probably be composite, it's tiny, absolutely tiny, unlike a, a Jag. Um, but it's all there. Lots of original features on this particular guitar, um, but some replacements. For instance, the, the heads, the tuning pegs, are not original. They would have been uh, in a line by the look of it. It's got the original bar on there um, and the neck. As you can see, it's got that rudimentary bridge and there's no other intonation on this uh, other than there is a very good working truss rod. When I first got this, put one string on it and it was already buzzing and the neck was quite badly out. But the truss rod has done the job and it is now, as you can see, a very nice, low, easy action. Got these two single coil pickups, very typical of the sort of thing that they were using. And as you'll hear, it does poke out a surprising amount of sound. The, uh, a tone control, a volume control and two individual switches for these two pickups which uh, work very well. Um, otherwise nothing on it. It's got some dings and paint cracks and various other bits and pieces that you would expect from an old guitar like this. Uh, doesn't bother me actually, but some people might want to change that. So let's hear the sound. This is Vox AC30VR again. This is on a clean set. I'm not playing this particularly loud at all, um, but you can already hear it's got a fair bit of poke to it. Just put a bit of reverb on it. sort of sound to it. Very 60s sort of sound to it, that's with a bit of reverb there. And give you a bit more on the whammy. So the whammy actually is quite responsive if you just give it a little, a little jolt. It 
it doesn't want much. In fact, I think if you gave it quite a bit, you'd probably get a few tuning issues with this. But I'm not having any tuning issues, just with using this quite gently. Um, let's try the switching now. So, both switches off. And I'm just going to go now to the bridge switch. change on this by the way these they're boogered uh, so I'll, I'll change these switches I've got nothing against the original witch's hat switches there but both of them are chipped and both of them are fairly unstable this one's completely unstable and that one not too much better um, but the the actual controls themselves work that's your tone um, and obviously the volume there as well. Right, let's try that one off and this one on. You can hear a much more natural sound. In fact, you'd... nice natural sounding sort of So there it is, 